Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to withdraw money from your Google Ads in 2024. So today we're discussing the process of withdrawing money from your Google Ads, whether you're a seasoned marketer or just starting with Google Ads. Understanding how to withdraw funds is essential for managing your advertising budgets effectively. So let's dive into the steps of withdrawing money from Google Ads and make sure to stick by and let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience. First, you'll have to go and open whatever browser you're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. Here in my case, I'm actually going to use the Brave browser and of course in our case, it could be any other browser that you could possibly have. Once you open that browser, basically just go to this URL section and you'll have to type Google, not Google, of course, Google Ads, and hit the enter button. This should take you into this page. So click on this first link, which is ads.google.com. This should take you into the home screen or main screen of Google Ads right away. So if you have an account, make sure to go and click on sign in and sign in to an account. If you have a Google account, you'll be able to sign in into it. But if you don't have a Google Ads account, we'll have to create a Google Ads account into your Google account. And if you don't have an account, click on start now and start creating a new account for you. For me, I'll just go here and click on sign in. They'll sign me right into my account because I was signed in recently. So here, once you signed in into your account, the first step, of course, in here is locating the tools and settings. Of course, you'll find this on this list panel. So here on tools, you'll be able to click on that. And as you can see here in this tools, you'll find keywords planner, performance planner, reach planner, app, and a lot of other stuff things that you can do here you'll be able to discover a lot of tools if you want to in google ads so also you can below below the tools you'll find billing if you click on it as an example so here let's just wait so as you can see here payment setup specify who is responsible for google ads costs and how they pay so you can learn more about payments profiles as an example, let me just go and open it in a new tab. So as you can see about payments profiles, who pays, the name and the address of the person or company legally responsible for account costs, what you pay with, store payments method used to pay for advertising costs, tax informed tax status, country and ID associated with your account, contacts name and contacts information for people who are associated with the profile and document language preferences. For example, you have here payment, payment accounts, if you're at this profile and in your Google Ads account, click on billing, go and click on settings. Then as an example, then find the payments profile, select where you can view details like your payments profile ID, account type and other details. So this payments profile, you can change to any field that has a pencil icon, then click on save for payments users example. You'll have to do the same and click on manage payment users. And you can use your, of course, your uh, profile in Google product. Of course, I'm not going to read all of that. Uh, you can do it by your own. So example, here you will have to fill up, of course, your billing account tree and uh, your currency. Then you will have to enter the payments profile, payments method, and the payment setting, and simply click on submit. So once you submit all those application, of course, you will pay the approval. So your request should be finalized momentarily. Refresh this page to check on the approval status or explore the rest of the Google Ads account while it waits. So as an example in here, how you pay, you'll be charged automatically for the first each uh, of each month. If your balance reached uh, this payment uh, the threshold, of course, before then, you'll be charged immediately. So you can cancel it whenever you want. And you can, of course, let it as it is. This is if you want to pay by your own. And of course, from here, you'll be able even to do some refunds, as an example. So I'll just cancel the request. Can't be canceled. Uh, I guess because it's already canceled or something like that. Let me just go and check that. So leave. Click in here. So yeah, and never mind, it's added, but no problem. So as you can see here, you can make an optional payment. Uh, you can view the document, see the transaction of your payments. As an example, you'll be able to do a lot of stuff. So you haven't made any payments. Yes, uh, next automatic payment. You can uh, like see all of that and you can view the documents. That uh, comes with this accessor for me. I have no documents at the moment. And of course, as an example, you want to withdraw your money. As an example, after, after you pay, and you have your balance now is 100 uh, maybe uh, of your currency, whatever currency you have. Of course, you can see how it's calculated this example. You can make an optional payment right now if you want to. 
but as they say they will uh, like charge you 100 uh, uh, of course of my currency it's 10 dollars like every month every first of the month of course uh, let's say for example you pay it and you want to withdraw that money you don't want it to stay on google ads anymore what you'll need to do simply and of course uh, if you have like some money you'll find an option where you will be able to do as example uh, or first of all of course you'll have to go to settings and uh, billing and of course if you want to withdraw that money you will have to cancel your accounts uh, to do so go to admin go to preferences and of course you will have to try to cancel your accounts if you cancel your account and you have money in here those money will be withdrawn to your credit card that you have of course in here right away into your bank account as it was so and of course well to cancel your account basically once you go to admin and preferences here and account status you can simply go here and click on cancel my account as you can see to stop ads uh, running ads uh, try posing your campaign if you cancel your account your ads will stop running and you'll receive a final bill within in the 60 days and if you still have some money in here your money will be withdrawn or refunded into your uh, card that you use of course to pay the money with so all the credit card so of course you will automatically initiate a refund and any credit cards or uh, associated with a uh, google ads will be refunded and if you didn't like uh, receive your funds in, in the, like the period of four weeks please contact the support because normally if you still have funds and you cancel your account you'll be able to get a refund of your uh, balance in here if you didn't get this as we said in four weeks make sure to contact the support of google ads through the billing issue form as example so let's say example you can go here through this help and type like billing issue uh, form and go through that so so billing issue like uh, payments or suspension or something like that so they will give you like a link to go to a form as an example and they will help you out uh, through it right away and yeah that's gonna be it for me today if you like this video of course make sure to leave a like down below because i successfully showed you how to withdraw your money from google ads other than that of course you'll not be able to withdraw your money automatically or manually you'll be able to do it just by canceling your accounts so if you have any question or there's a specific topic that you'd like me to cover in the next tutorial just drop it down below in the comment section i'll try to do it as soon as possible so thank you for watching and goodbye